welcome to VChat, special edition number 25. This is the top blog awards show, and uh, my name's David Davis from VMWareVideos.com. And I'm Simon Seabury from TechHead.co.uk. And I'm Eric Siebert from VistraLand.com, and with us we have a special guest today, none other than the uh, Mr. John Troyer, also known as Chewbacca, VMware's uh, social media mastermind, their head cheerleader, Woo! the guy that really drives the heart and soul of VMware. And uh, we're glad to have him here with us as we uh, announce the, the winners of the Top Blog Awards. Um, before we get started, kind of this thing, whole event um, has been sponsored by Train Signal. Um, there's a lot of uh, time and effort put into this, so uh, Train Signal graciously steps in and sponsors it. So, um, you know, David, uh, what's going on at Train Signal? Any uh, new products out? Any VSphere 5 stuff? What, what do you guys got over there now? Yeah, thanks, Eric. Um, we're glad to sponsor the show. I mean, this is a great thing you're doing for the community. Um, you know, the latest from us is uh, we released a View 5 training course. Um, I'm working on a vCloud Director training course. Uh, we've got uh, Jason Nash doing some advanced uh, vSphere networking courses for us. And um, there's a lot of other exciting stuff like that is on the way. So uh, thanks for letting us sponsor the show. Sure. Yeah, it's a great resource, great training uh, for people that want to, you know, learn more about vSphere. That uh, your your stuff definitely makes it, you know, really convenient to, to learn that stuff. Um, so without further ado, um, just a little background on the uh, the contest. I've been doing this for several years now. Um, last year, it's been about just over a year and three or four months since we did the last one in that. And um, last one we had about seven to eight hundred total votes. Um, this year we had close to twelve hundred votes, so a lot more participation from the voters, from the uh, voting audience, um, to determine the top blogs. Um, the way it works is um, people select their top ten favorite blogs, um, and they put them in order of their the ranking of their favorites from one to ten. And then there's a way to sign to that. So a number one blog. Um, a number one vote is more you know, valuable than a number 10 vote. So if you vote for somebody number one, they get 10 points for that vote. Uh, number two would be nine points all the way down to number 10 gets one point. And then once those um, are all collected in that, I total up all the votes, apply the weighting to them, and come up with a, a total point score, which determines the top 25. Um, this year we had, I think... About 187 blogs um, participating in the voting. Um, last year we had about 110, 112. So definitely a lot more bloggers out there, and, um, and a lot more competition in that. You know, it gets tougher and tougher to, to get in that top 25. Um, so everything's been tabulated. People have voted, and uh, now we're going to announce the winners. Uh, Eric, did you have to use a supercomputer to calculate all this? <laughs> yeah, I used. Uh, where is it here? Uh, my little calculator here. <laughs> hey, look at that. It wasn't easy. Hey, whatever works. It's that's a lot of manual tests. That's coming out of the 1980s. Because i got to go through and add up the number of votes for each one and then multiply it times the weight. Um, i got some of it automated in the spreadsheet, but it, it took this whole process start to finish. You know, everything involved takes me, you know, probably 20, 30 hours to do everything. So, so definitely a lot of work. Good, good job. Kind of automated. So if there's any scripters out there that want uh, to help script this next year, definitely be appreciated. Save me a lot of work. Um, if only you knew some really good bloggers that could help. Seems like there's a Go lot ahead. of good scripted bloggers CLI, maybe. in this top 25 this year, so uh, maybe we can hit them up and uh, get something going next year. So number 25, um, a new blog to the list. Um, I don't, I don't think we included this blog in the voting last year. Um, I think it was more focused on virtualization and open it up a bit more this year to include um, some of the more popular storage blogs out there that really deal with virtualization a lot as well. And um, also a lot of the more VDI blogs, too. There's more and more of those popping up. So number 25, um, running at the bottom of the list, is uh, none other than our, our favorite Stephen Foskett, pack grad of uh, Tech Field Day fame. Very nice. He had a uh, cool. of... He is and um, yeah, it brought a lot of you know. I really enjoy a lot of his storage-related content that he does. You know, related to virtualization, puts really a good perspective on it. Really good insight into you know storage as it relates to virtualization. Yeah, I always quite like the diversity Stephen um, has on his uh, his way. He's got a couple of sites, but in particular, he does some very good reviews uh, around sort of general sort of everything from gadgets through to sort of more enterprise tech uh, type. Yeah. Type products out there, so uh, it's always a good read. Uh, super nice guy as well, and he's, he's doing a great job with the tech field days. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot of fun guy too. 
Moving up to 24, uh, another new blog, and this is another uh, VDI-related blog, which I don't think we included last year in the voting, and that would be Mr. Brian Madden from uh, Now Tech Target, um, whose focus is on mm -hmm. VDI, and if you want to know stuff VDI, he really knows the stuff. So, um, you know, another popular guy in, in the, the business, especially around client he, he would probably be He would probably be very quick to disclaim, not VDI, but user virtualization and desktop yeah. virtualization. <laughs> and user computing. Yeah. Big terminal <laughs> services. Etc. guy. Yeah, yeah. Gen app. He's recently been writing a lot on the consumerization of IT, so good stuff there. Moving up to number 23, uh, Mr. Scott Drummond from Pivot Point. Thanks, John. Scott's role has changed from the he kind of focused on performance before. Hasn't he changed into other areas now? Well, he's not only changed uh, areas, he's changed companies, right? He's oh, no right. longer a VMware yeah. employee. Yeah, Scott's heading up uh, the V Specialist team over in the APJ region. Okay. So uh, his, his focus has changed somewhat. So uh, although uh, actually internally on the emails and what have you, anything performance related, he's normally right in there, uh, giving giving great advice and everything. So uh, it's definitely still in his blood. That's for oh, sure. Cool. <laughs> Brilliant guy. Brilliant yeah. guy. Yeah. For, for me, Scott, anything performance related in in in, VM, in the VMware sphere of things, uh, excuse the pun, um, is you know he, he's the number one guy. He's got some great articles there. Even some of his older ones uh, now that perhaps don't relate to vSphere five. Uh, you know a lot of the theory, everything in there still holds and uh, make, makes for very good reads. So anything performance related, that's always my first point of call. Yeah, yeah, definitely good stuff from him. Um, at the number 22 position, we have uh, Mr. Rick Shear from VMware Tips with a total of 155 votes and 718 points. Um, Rick another one of Simon's the, colleagues. Yep, I was going to say another EMC guy. Yeah. Another EMC. Um, another, we should count um, how many blogs are EMC employees. <laughs> yeah, or now, even, now, Eric, you... you you did do some. You did do some uh, gateway gateway filtering here, right? You did. You did look for fraud and, <laughs> and uh, ballot stuffing. Yeah, actually, yeah, well, I definitely would, uh, keep an eye out for that stuff because uh, sometimes you get these widely circulated emails at a at company saying, "Hey, everybody, just vote for me, vote for me," and that. So um, we definitely try to you know cut down on you know something that may kind of having a, a mass voting attack that would kind of, you know, change things up a bit. But we, to be honest, I really didn't see much of that at all this time around. So Great. Rick was previously at the uh, 18 spot and now has moved down to the 22 spot. Um, at the uh, 21 spot, we have a, a new blog, um, Mr. Uh, Chris Collati, who is uh, 119 votes, 733 total points. And um, I've heard a lot of good things about him in that everybody kept – when the voting was going on, saying, oh, I'm definitely going to include Chris in my top ten and that. So um, finally got a chance to, to meet him at VMware Partner Exchange, and, um, you know, seems like a great guy that produces a lot of great content. Yeah, super smart, super, super complete, super aggressive, writes a lot of stuff about vCloud Director, um, is in the Center of Excellence team there, so I think that's what it's called still. Um, and uh, just super knowledgeable. Uh, he's been conspiring with Duncan Epping lately to produce some really cool stuff. So. Oh, cool. All around smart guy. If you want to know about B Cloud, uh, he's definitely one of the blogs to uh, have on your short list. Did you get any votes for his uh, his virtual training blog? <laughs> you know, uh, Chris, he's got a, a blog on uh, you know getting in shape and fitness and stuff like that. So, B Fitness. No, no, no votes for that yet, though. Okay. Yeah, B Fitness. That's cool. That's not actually the name of it, but anyway, yeah, it's a good yeah. blog. At the uh, number 20 spot, uh, moving down from 23 is uh, Vlad and Saget with ESX Virtualization with 138 total votes and uh, 804 total points. And um, Vlad, and he, was, he was fairly new, I think, last year. Um, he's out on that uh, little island out there, um, Reunion Island. Reunion Island, um, I think it's a French colony in that, and um, produces a lot of good mm -hmm. stuff. He's, he's blogging continuously all the time, it seems like. A lot, of, a lot of good stuff out of him as well. He produces a lot of content. He does a lot of diagrams, and, uh, you know, he, he produces, he, he always has a lot of multimedia content in his blog posts. I really enjoy them. Okay, moving uh, to the number 19 spot, down from the 13 spot, um, is vmguru.nl, um, 179 total votes, 815 total points, that uh, gang of guys from the Netherlands, and that, it seems like there's, uh, when you look at the top 25 in general, there's just a lot of guys from the Netherlands um, on it, and that it seems to be almost a national pastime over there at the Netherlands, so the blog about VMware stuff. Yeah, they're always at, at, at the the crew from VM Guru are always at VM World. Uh, I really enjoy working with them. They, they they produce a lot of content. They do videos. They do how tos. They're all consultants. They work together. 
um, most of the time. And um, good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I always, I always enjoy catching up with those guys. Um, they, they seem to spend most of their time at the shows. Every time I bump into them, they're actually in the uh, VMware community or the social media lounge there, all sitting around they're blogging like, away there intensely. Typing, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They're, doing the, yeah. they're doing the work. I like you stuff. guys who are just hanging out talking. <laughs> <laughs> so this next blog, I was disappointed to see it fall from 14 to 18. And uh, you know, I thought this guy could probably make his way up higher in that. And that would be Mr. Simon Seagrave from uh, techhead.co.uk <laughs> with 166 total votes okay. and 904 total points. Simon, what happened? Uh, I let myself go a little bit. I, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm very pleased with that, and I'm very grateful to, to everyone that voted for me out there. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a very, very busy year, and uh, I definitely haven't been as frequent with the content. Uh, this coming year it has already changed. Now I'm already producing a lot more content, which is great. Got my lab back up and running, so... Um, yeah, expect a lot more content this year. But uh, this past year with work commitments as well, uh, being a lot busier, it's been a lot of fun um, this past year. But uh, obviously, it, it bites into your um, into your time a little bit more. So uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very very pleased with that actually. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah. very grateful to everyone that voted. It's amazing how many times I Google something and I find Simon's blog. It has yeah. to do with virtual labs or yeah. building a vSphere lab or iOmega iX4. Or, or the HTML yeah. servers, all that stuff, all the home lab stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I totally agree on that. It's because I, yeah. I pay for sponsored links, so you notice that. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a fortune. Uh, <laughs> moving all the way up from the 39 spot last year to the 17 spot is uh, Andrew or Andre. Uh, Leibovici with My Virtual Cloud, a uh, another kind of a desktop virtualization focused blog with 150 total votes and 914 um, total points. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of great content come out of him. Um, he recently joined VMware, right, and moved over from the the UK, was it, to California? No, I think he's with VCE. Actually. Oh, is he VCE? Okay. Uh, yeah, unless no, he's a Andre. Andre, he's an EMC V specialist. One, one of okay, those. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure Andre, Andre's on there. I've, I've, I've dealt with him like a few times before. He's, he's a great guy. Um, I think he came from Australia, didn't he? Okay. Australia okay. across the okay. West Coast, US. Yeah, okay. yeah. But he's uh, he's internally he's very active uh, with anything VDI related. He's great at um, <laughs> you know giving giving some great advice and what have you. And uh, good resources. super knowledgeable. Super knowledgeable. I, if, if, if it had to do, I'd, I'd watch him, I'd read about his shopping list if it had to do with BDI. <laughs> his uh, view and Zen Desktop calculators, to me, are the, the two best things on his blog. Um, used to calculate, you know, how many, uh, how much resources you'll need for a certain number of, uh, you know, view virtual desktops of a certain size. So, a really cool, you know, applications, actually, they're on, on his blog. Cool. Yeah, that, that definitely always helps out. It's a bit of a dark ass, isn't it, when you're sort of uh, sizing uh, video environment, so any calculators like that are always most welcome. And, and you don't see many, um, you know, end user computing focused blogs these days. You know, there's only a few. Most of them are focused on vSphere and server virtualization. So it's good to see, you know, this type of focus on, you know, and client virtualization is getting more and more popular in that. And um, so it's good to see, you know, some good quality content in that area being produced by him. So next, moving up from the uh, number 24 spot to the 16 spot with uh, 171 total votes and 948 total points is Mr. Uh, Nicholas Weaver from Nicopedia, the, uh, the, the software development guru that's responsible for all those uh, great um, you know, gadgets, appliances, and tools that we get uh, for our VMware environment. I believe uh, another EMC employee, right, Simon? Guilty. Yes, he is. <laughs> Nick, Nick's a great guy, actually. Um, I've had the privilege of working with him uh, in this past year uh, quite closely on the tech enablement team. And, uh, yeah, I can tell you, it's you meet guys, you meet smart guys, and then the, in, in your lifetime you meet a handful of very smart guys, and, and Nick definitely falls into that camp. Um, yeah, he's, he, he's, he's an out-there guy. He's, he's, he's super smart and... Uh, yeah, he's just a bundle of energy the whole time. He has all these ideas. He's always whiteboarding, going, hey, we should do this, we should do this. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, he produces some great stuff, um, both internally and uh, a lot of stuff that he produces uh, and um, makes available externally as well. But, uh, yeah, he's he's super guy, very, very, very bright, uh, a lot of fun as well. Yeah, I hear nothing. You know, I, I, I like that. Yeah, I was just going to bring up, you know, all these guys, and well, this this is a theme across all these top twenty five blogs. Are, they are, and are they all men? I guess they are guys. So I'll call them all guys. Yes. But 
it's, it doesn't have to do with, with whether you're, you're a man or a woman. It's all people who are extraordinarily um, productive, right? With, the, with, the, with, of course, with the exception of a few, like Simon, who's, who's been slacking off this year, yeah. <laughs> doing actual work. Yeah. But, but, you know, the, the, the key to being a productive blogger, the key to, to, to being, uh, I don't know, like somebody like Nick who, who invents new stuff, who always has a new project going on, I think is, is, is really kind of simple and it's almost trite, which is just they, they sit down and do it, Right. These people are all kind of the kind of people that just sit down in their spare time and their nights and just and just produce content. And I think there's no other advice I can give people other than just sit down and start. And you three are all much more productive of a blogger or content producer than I am right now. And I think that's part of your secret as well, right? You just you just have to start. Or do you guys have any other advice for for bloggers, people trying to get started? Yeah, I think a part of it's creati- creativity as well in that, you know, trying to be as creative as possible to produce, you know, a lot of good content in that. Um, you know, for me, it's, it's always, um, you know, I'm constantly trying to think of new and creative things to, to kind of blog and write about and stuff. And, um, you know, like you said, though, it's definitely you got to focus and kind of dedicate some time to it. You can't just, you know, in passing every now and then decide, okay, I'm going to blog now, maybe, um, you know, make specific, you know, time windows where you're going to actually sit down, think about things, and then blog about them. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably dedicate around probably at least an hour a night to either bringing ideas together or starting various blog posts and everything, at least sometimes, you know, more than that. Um, it's funny, you, you really great. I mean, you can only do it, you should only have a blog if you want to do it, if you enjoy it. A lot of people uh, I've spoken to saying, look, how do I get into it? Well, these days the barriers to, to start blogging are pretty pretty minimal because there's a lot of free blogging services out there such as Blogger, etc., uh, WordPress. Um, and even if you want to host your own, it doesn't cost a heck of a lot um, to do that. But a lot of people I speak to and say, oh, well, how do I start? You know, I, I want to do it, but I've got nothing to write about, and I'll write it, and no one will want to listen to me. The biggest thing to get over is that whole mental thing about people won't want to read what you've got to write. That's the one thing that always amazes me. I put a blog post up there, and I can see from the stats on what's happening on the server. As soon as you put something up, it's amazing. People will start reading stuff. Uh, um, which is absolutely amazing, and um, it's always been a mystery to me, especially when I started, why people actually start reading what, what you're writing. And, and it's a case of builders, and they will come. You know, it doesn't matter. Don't be too critical of, of what you're producing. You know, make sure it's, it's got value to it. That's the number one thing. But don't be too hung up about producing a masterpiece, you know, uh, every time, and, and especially during your first outing. Just get down there, write about something you're passionate about. If you're not interested about what you're writing about and you're just blogging for the sake of it, that will definitely come over in, in your blog post, and, and don't waste your time. You're going to be passionate. Yep. Well, the point out, the reason I, I'm sorry I hijacked this, <laughs> hijacked your VChat oh, okay. here, but I guess the, the, with, with Nick, I guess the reason I brought this up is I just always see him on Facebook. I'm working on a new project. I'm in the lab. I'm doing something new. <laughs> and, folks, as we go up the list, in fact, uh, I, I took a sneak peek, you know, those top, those top guys, I see them working on their blogs all the time. So that's kind of the point I wanted to make is that, you know, the top bloggers are extraordinarily productive, and they do that just by sitting there putting their butts in a seat and typing. Yeah, dedication. Yeah. All right, so um, moving on to the 15th spot, down from number 10 with 204 uh, total votes and 995 total points is uh, Mr. Gabriel Van Zanten from Gabe's Virtual World, another uh, another blogger from the Netherlands. Um, Gabe's been been around for a long time, blogging for a long time, and that, and um, you know, still produces some some good stuff. And uh, as part of that whole uh, Dutch v Mafia guys, that uh, you know is, is pretty popular, and um, you know, produces a lot of great work. I'd like to point out, Gabe doesn't work for EMC. So just <laughs> to throw that out there. He's independent. He's an independent guy. So yeah, yeah, there's, there's but, yeah he him. works. He works for a, a, a small provider in, in oh, the Netherlands. Okay. So. Which which is great, which lets him work on a lot of different kinds of projects. Everywhere cool. thing from, you know, Hyper V versus vSphere all the way to over to, you know, desktop and other things. Okay, cool. So at the uh, number fourteen spot, moving up from twenty one with one hundred and seventy four total votes and one thousand and fifty five total points is uh, Luke Deacons from the Luke D blog, another scripting blog. And I tell you those scripting bloggers are taking over the top twenty five. Yeah. It's useful stuff. It definitely is. Help, 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 all us admins, um, a lot of us admins can't script too well, so having guys like this, you know, producing content for us and, you know, helping us out with scripting is definitely a pretty valuable resource. 
Yeah, Luke is super. He is well known on the community, on the, in, in the Power CLI blog and Power CLI forums. Um, he's all over the place. He's super helpful. He takes time out of his day. I mean, he's a regular IT guy, and uh, but you know, definitely a super user as far as, as Power CLI and scripting goes. Uh, nice, nicer guy can't be found. Cool. Okay, next, uh, moving up from the 19th spot to the 13th spot with 219 total votes and 1,123 total points is uh, Forbes Guthrie from uh, V Reference. Um, another good resource. I, I'm not. I think I met Forbes once, but I'm not um, too familiar with um, what his, his job is and um, and kind of some of the work he does. You guys, I know he did pretty popular for that. He did that uh, that V Reference card and that that was a really popular resource in that. Um, you guys, he's got a book out. Uh, oh, did yeah, he's got a book out. He's a he uh, he's uh, he puts a lot of work into his stuff. He also has a lot of notes. You know, in compiling that V Reference in the book, he he produces a lot of you know just kind of in his wake. You know, there are a lot of notes and detailed uh, okay. uh, you know observations and settings and stuff. So, huge amount of information on his blog. Uh, also, super great guy. Oh, cool. Uh, here on the West Coast. I was just going to say, he's got a lot more than just the one reference card. He's got multiple reference uh, documents all over his blog, and they're really impressive. Uh, they come in different formats and sizes, and you can print them in different ways. And so he's really innovative, you know, in that area. And uh, I know he's an independent consultant out of Canada, and he's also the co-author on the uh, Designing vSphere book. Okay, next, moving up from the 15 spot to the 12 spot, uh, a storage guy, and actually it's the virtual storage guy, Vaughn Stewart, with uh, 218 total votes and 1,245 points. Vaughn is one of those so storage heavyweight gurus in that, that, you know, he um, produces a lot of great content, works from NetApp and that, and, um, you know, seems to continually be, um, you know, very... Uh, visible in you know the tweeting, uh, tweeting, and in the blogs, and at all the trade shows that we normally attend. Yeah, I, I Vaughn was over just last week at uh, Partner Exchange. My only complaint was he was so busy in meetings he didn't stop by. He's a he's a all over the industry, all over the all over the world for NetApp. Uh, extraordinarily knowledgeable, super good guy. Yeah, I actually I haven't seen him in a while too. Yeah, at PEX I didn't see him at all, and, and usually PEX is smaller where you run into people more often. But um, saw Chad a few times, but didn't really get the chance to, to hook up with Vaughn at all. I like to to talk with him and um, you know find out what's going on with him as well. Yeah, you know I always enjoy catching up with Vaughn. So a really really nice guy. I mean, you know obviously I work for EMC and uh, you know uh, Vaughn working for NetApp there. It's, it's it's funny. He's just one of these other guys that works in the industry. He's passionate about. The technology and uh, you know that re that really comes through with uh, the, you know the conversations you have with them. It's a yeah. really nice guy. Yeah, definitely agree. Yeah. So this next blog didn't move at all. He was at eleven and he stayed at eleven, and that would be Mr. Simon Long from the Slog with two hundred twenty-five total votes okay. and twelve hundred fifty-eight total points. This guy you hear about anytime you have to talk, anything to do with certification, you're always referred to Simon Long, even within HP. See a lot of emails going around, you know, hey, are you studying? Hey, go to this guy's resource or website for a resource for, for helping you pass these certifications. And Simon does work for VMware, so uh, just, okay. just to get that out there. Yeah, no, it's, he was one of the first ones. There are some other uh, different uh, study guides now. Uh, out there, but Simon's is pretty good and, and pretty comprehensive. So, and I, I haven't seen what he's, I haven't actually checked in what he's been doing lately, but definitely a huge resource. Yeah, definitely. And those certifications can be uh, definitely a challenging thing, and he definitely has a, a good focus on you know helping prepare people for taking those tests and passing those certifications. Yeah, definitely. I noticed on his blog as well, uh, he, he's got a lot of focus these days around um, uh, VMware View, because a lot of work he does at VMware now uh, is to do the VDI okay. environments. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's really stepped up a few gears in the last few months around the, um, creating content around uh, uh, VMware View, I've noticed. And, uh, yeah, he's got some great posts up there. So moving down from number seven to number ten, man, this guy's going down too, Simon. That would be myself, Mr. Eric mm -hmm. Siebert from vSphereLand.com with 264 total votes and 1,267 total points. And that, again, I think I find myself challenged as yourself, there, Simon, uh, kind of constantly, <laughs> you know, cranking this stuff out and that I don't do any work for, like, Tech Target and stuff like that anymore. So, um, you know, a lot of, I do have a bit more free time for doing stuff like that, but still, you know, it's definitely a bit of a challenge, especially with new job and that, to find uh, the time in that. So working on uh, cranking out some more stuff and that, doing a lot of posts coming up on home labs and that. So um, so I'm just uh, glad to, to still be in that top 25. 
Uh, and I think, hopefully, if everybody's watching this, knows about your site. Uh, you know, your collections of links uh, historically have been super useful. Your vLaunchpad, you know, amazingly useful. Some people use that as their homepage. So, you know, Eric, I think you've just pulled together a really amazing collection of resources. So thank you. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely time consuming. <laughs> so, and that keeps me busy. Yeah, I think it's a lot more than a blog. It's It's like a resource compendium, you know. Yeah. Um, that, that you can look at these resources from all different angles. So uh, it's it's really innovative, I think, is what makes it so popular. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks. So um, moving down from number eight spot to number nine spot is our, our good buddy, Mr. Jason Baki, the virtualization evangelist with 283 total votes and 1,392 total points. Jason, another uh, hardcore blogger who's got the... Probably a data center bigger than most SMBs in his basement. And um, I had a chance to meet up with him at a partner exchange and hung out, smoked some stogies together. And, uh, you know, just an overall great guy. He's produced a lot of great content. And, um, you know, it's good to see that he, he's still going at it and um, now works for Dell and um, still does, you know, one of those bloggers that you really enjoy reading his content. Absolutely. He's, he's always got an interesting take on, on things. Um whether it's, you know, his latest, he just sat through uh, a beta of, uh, of the latest VCAP for, or, uh, you know, he's always got a, 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 an interesting and insightful take on whatever he, whatever he takes on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what I like about Jason. He, he calls it as it is, you know, from his perspective, which uh, it's always good. You know, it's, uh, you know you're not going to get any sort of uh, any fluff, as it were, with his posts, which is great. Yep. And, uh, you know, from a te technical perspective, he's got some really good reads in there. Um, as, as John's saying there, I've, I've, uh, for me personally, um, it's going through the certification process at the moment. I found his um, blog posts around, uh, you know, his experiences with seeing the various uh, accreditations very, um, very useful. So uh, that's definitely a site to check out. And it's always a pleasure talking to him at the various events as well. He's a really nice guy. Really yep. nice guy. Definitely. So this next blogger moves up all the way from the hanging at the bottom of the top 25 last time all the way up to the number 8 spot. And that would be Mr. William Lamb from Virtually Ghetto with uh, 288 total Ooh, votes and 1,522 total points. Another scripting guy. And I see uh, this good. scripting. And another, oh, no, and another VMware guy. Oh, that's right, yeah. So w William recently oh, joined yeah. VMware uh, in, the, in the tech marketing group, is all over the place, is tearing stuff up, is writing new scripts, and, you know, he's just, it's really cool to watch somebody who is super active outside of VMware, okay. and, you know, always, again, always has projects, and he's always, like, you know, opening up the hood and, like, tinkering with stuff, and now he's inside, and he's also, the cool thing is he can now, you know, glue things together and, and in a way that... Uh, you know, has a real-world perspective because he's just coming from a customer right now. So it's it's, it's awesome to have him on the team. And yeah, his cool. blog is awesome as well. The Good coolest deal. thing on his blog posts, you know, I love to read the ones that always start off with, uh, this is totally unsupported <laughs> or this isn't in the documentation, but, yeah. you know, so those are the posts I love. Yeah, definitely. I, I see yeah, he's going to be the king of Pearl scripts, though, isn't he? Oh, totally. Uh, the scripts he has around Pearl are uh, fantastic, very, very good. He definitely seems to favor Pearl over PowerShell, and I see a script referred to all the time. So at the uh, number seven spot, moving up from the number nine spot, we have back-to-back -back scripting guys, the, uh, the Frenchman known as Alan Renault with the uh, Virtue-Al with uh, 294 total votes and 1,599 total points. Another uh, and, and just it, in case people are watching, Alan is very not French. Yes, he's, that's a bit of so long time joke. I, I don't know. But, uh, Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Yep, long time joke. In the anyway, also, also just joined VMware recently, and uh, also, again, same kind of thing, where he's yeah, come on thing. board and come on board. Woof, we're, we're echoing. But uh, came on board, has added a lot of energy and real-world expertise to, uh, again, gluing all things together. So it, integration is the name of the game there. And, you know, with Alan and, and, uh, and William on the team, uh, I, I've just, I'm really... Um, they're producing a lot of good stuff. Cool. Okay, at uh, the number six spot, moving down for number five, is Mr. Mike Laverick with RTFM Education with 337 total votes and 1,775 total points. Um, another one of those, those mainstays, one of the original bloggers in the industry and in that, been doing it for a long time, produced a lot of great content and that, and, um, you know, really popular for the, the kind of the chin wags he's been doing lately and that, you know, one on one with people and that, and, um, it's another one of those guys that, you know, you always like to meet at a trade show, has a lot of good insight, and it's really fun to talk to. 
Well, I got Mike. You got to give Mike kudos as well. He's independent. He, in yeah. fact, he's not even a usually on. He's not a. He consults, but he makes a lot of his living via his blog and his books and and consulting from them, uh, which I think uh, you know shows in the in the, the amount of time and the amount of content he produces. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff. Yeah, Mike's a great guy, and his his SRM book is just you know the bible uh, when it yeah. comes to SRM and. And his view book is also excellent as well. So he's, he's got a lot of great resources. And um, he uh, many of them he generously even donates uh, a lot of his, his books yeah. are free. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and he's been, I've got to give him credit as well. He's been pretty consistent with his uh, chin wags as well. I don't know what number he's up to now, but uh, it's like he's been 70. doing that for a little while now. And, yeah, there's, uh, I think at least 70 of them. So, yeah, he's definitely... That. Yeah. He's going to be running out of people in the industry, isn't he? At some station. <laughs> have to circle back around again. So this uh, next blogger has moved up from the number six position to number five position, and a uh, VMware employee and a very very smart guy, Mr. Frank Deniman, with 373 total votes and 2,214 total points. And I tell you, I really enjoy reading his content. It's very in depth technical stuff. He really knows the stuff in that and produces a ton of good content. And uh, always a pleasure mm-hmm. to read whatever he has to write. Yeah. Also, I mean, I guess I don't know what's recent. How he's been around. He's he and uh, has been on the team for a while. But again, the team is the technical marketing team, uh, and uh, what they're doing there is really strong. They're really extraordinarily strong these days. Um, and Frank's stuff is super, super. Uh, like you said, super technical, super yeah. thorough. Yeah. Yeah. Very well written, though. Um, very well written. I'm always surprised, especially him and Duncan. I mean, considering uh, English is their second language, I mean, they're, they're, you know, their posts are very, very well written. You know, um, the grammar, everything, uh, just can't fault it. Um, very precise as well. So, yeah, from from a techie's point of view, it's, it's, it's always a good read. You know, it goes down to the real nitty gritty sort of detail in there, which uh, all us geeks, you know, really enjoy reading about. So, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Well deserved. Yep, definitely. Really and of course, well, and of course, you can't you can't talk about Frank without mentioning Frank and Duncan's book. Yep, uh, they are the uh, cluster yeah. authorities on uh, HA and DRS. So that's uh, if you don't have that book, that's definitely pick that up. It really gives you a really good deep dive technical perspective of uh, resource management and HA and DRS. Okay, this next blogger moved down from the number two spot to the number four spot, and that would be our, our good buddy, Mr. Chad Sackick from Virtual Geek with 381 total votes and 2,298 total points. Chad is one of those, those another dynamo in that that seems to be full of energy and doing a million things at once and, you know, produces these long, huge posts on his blog, a lot of good, um, you know, video stuff that he does as well in that, and just, you know, one of those guys that you, you always enjoy reading whatever he has to put out as well. Absolutely. He's prolific. He's got a lot of energy. I mean, he keeps, uh, uh, so Simon, he, how, you know, he keeps on, um, his, his responsibilities have grown at EMC, but he, but, uh, he and his team keep on producing an amazing amount of content. And I just love the way his tone is so, I don't know, forthright. It just, I, I, you know, obviously you always have a bias when you work for a vendor because you're, you're, you're work for the vendor, but, um, but his biases are, are pretty clear and, and he's, I feel like he's given, usually given me a straight, a straight shot at what's, what's really happening. Yeah, I, I think that's, Simon. that's the big, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with Chad. I mean, I know working with him, um, well, uh, you know, uh, for the last sort of 18 months, almost two years now since I've been with EMC, uh, real pleasure to, to, to work with. And, and, and actually internally, all his emails, he's still very hands on, although he's, you know, he's been, uh, very successful with what he's doing. He's still very much, uh, involved. And I can remember, at the VChat this time a year ago, whenever we did the last uh, announcements, you know, I was saying, look, I've, I've just started working for EMC, I've been working for EMC for just under a year, and I can't figure out, this is one guy, I can't figure out how he produces the amount of content he does. Because uh, it is, it's so regular, and he goes into some, you know, some really good detail as well. Um, once again, uh, another blogger whose content is very easy to read. It's, it's, you know, it's always a pleasure to read. Very, very straightforward, and um, but, but a good, a good uh, level of technical content there as well. But you know, a, a year on, I'm still at a loss as to how he produces it. I mean, I, I have asked him, and um, apparently he writes a lot of his content when he's waiting in airport lounges because obviously he travels quite a bit, and also traveling on planes as well, and um, because. 
there's this, once again, he's another one of these guys, um, as with, you know, most people in this, uh, in the top 25 here are passionate about what they do. They love the technology. Obviously, Chad works for a vendor, as with myself, but he loves the industry. He loves the, uh, you know, it loves the technology, and that just shines through. And, you know, when, when you've got such a good level of knowledge around products and everything, you know, you know producing uh, blog posts uh, in that, that detail relatively quite quickly is, is quite easy to do, obviously. Uh, well, not easy to do. Uh, obviously, it takes time, but, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, full credit to them. <laughs> I wish I could do it. Um, That's a lot of work. Uh, and, oh, one, one thing I should mention around that, I know a few people seem to think that he must have ghost writers or something as well. At, you know, some of the best specialists write content, and I, and I can tell you for a fact, because, you know, before I started working for EMC, I did wonder that, but, uh, yeah, I know for a fact that he does produce all his own content, um, you know, around the written blog posts and everything, so, yeah. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, this next blogger, moving up from the number four spot to the three spot, working his way up the ladder, is uh, Mr. Eric Sleuth from ntpro.nl with 419 total votes and 2,592 total points. Now there, this is, I tell you, Eric, he just seems to blog nonstop, almost seems like every day, and a lot of good, you know, video content, uh, another independent guy, um, he's a, a trainer in that, and just produces a lot of quality content, and often the, the first, we call him uh, Mr. Scoop, because he often gets that scoop, the first to know and blog about a lot of different things as they happen. I will admit, occasionally I read news about VMware first on Eric's blog, and then I go to the, my cube mate next door to me and ask, oh, did that get released last night? Uh, so occasionally Eric scoops even me. Um, yeah. But yeah, and also, but he, but he not only points to a lot of stuff, but he produces a lot of his own content. He's a really good instructor. He's gotten awards for that. Uh, and, and his video content is, you know, is often is super clear and, and really useful. Yeah, I think even Scott Harold. Um or I mean, um, Scott Harrod has said uh, at one point when he also reads uh, Eric, one of lots of blogs, and Eric Sloof is definitely one of the blogs that he reads as well. I was just going to say, I don't know how many times you know a new tool comes out from VMware Labs or something like that, or a new product from VMware, um, and not only does Eric have a post about it, but he has a how-to video that he's already created on how to use it. Yeah. And so I'm yeah. always amazed at... You know, how, how did, he, did he stay up all night, like, <laughs> making this video on this product that just came out, you know, a few hours ago? So, very impressive. impressive. Yep, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, this next blogger moved up from the number three spot to the number two spot, and that would be Mr. Scott Lowe from EMC. Um, another one of those longtime bloggers, been doing it for, I think he's he's been along for a really long time doing the blogging. I'd say probably at least five, six years. And um, another guy that produces, you know, really great in-depth technical content. I tell you, at these events you go to, like uh, VMworld, Partner Exchange, I don't know how he does it, but he, he live blogs better than anybody I've ever seen in that. He just totally gets you a great perspective just as you were there watching whoever is speaking in that. And, um, you know, now actually he's a recent Colorado resident as well. He moved to uh, from uh, North Carolina out to Colorado right by me down, down in uh, – uh, Castle Pine. So, um, there's another great guy, great blogger, and uh, good to see him move up. And uh, again, uh, just for the disclaimer, he's an EMC -er, uh and also we haven't mentioned his books, uh, which uh, are kind of the, which are some of the definitive references for vSphere 5, etc. Indeed. So. Definitely. Mastering vSphere. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, Scott's, Scott's a fantastic blog. I, I mean, I. You know, whenever he produces something, it's it's uh, almost straight on there reading what he's written. And uh, like you said, he, he's he's one of these guys that can live blog phenomenally well. Uh, you know, I mentioned Chad before, very quick at producing you know quality content. Scott, very much so. He's he's definitely in that uh, in that elk. Uh, I have had the pleasure of sitting next to him a couple of times at uh, various events, and he's there live blogging. Uh, smoke coming off his keyboards, uh, off, off his keyboard there, and um, it, it's it's quality that he's writing as well. It's because he's got such a he's an intelligent, super intelligent guy. He's got a, such a good grasp on the industry, on the products, and everything, and it just just flows, you know, well. And um, yeah, yeah, phenomenally, uh, phenomenally great guy. And uh, yeah, you mentioned his books there as well. Um, when people ask me, look, I want to get into virtualization. Whose book should I, you know, uh, start with or read? I, I always direct them through to uh, Scott's book or obviously Eric's book as well. Um, um, but uh, you know, for me, kind of um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it really is. Scott, Scott's book for for, for for VMware, I really hold up as the uh, as the bible, really. You know, yep. if you're you know if you're that's intermediate or, or level, yeah, for sure, definitely. And like I said, super super nice uh, 
guy as well, and, and you know, Crystal, his wife, uh, often runs festivities activities at these conferences too. So, really, always enjoy when I get a chance to interact yeah. with Scott. Yeah, yeah, I just I sat down with them both at, yeah. at a partner exchange. I got to got to talk and catch up with them. So, well, cool. All right, so we're at that number one spot, and um, can anybody guess who that is? Who's left? Eric, who's left? <laughs> who's left? Who's left? Anything? So, <laughs> with six hundred. Yeah, 697 total votes and 5,444 5, total points, almost double what the uh, the previous points were at the number two spot, is Mr. Duncan Epping from Yellow Bricks. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. And what can you say about Duncan? He's a, he's a content producing machine with lots of great content, um, another VMware employee, so he's got a lot of good insight into um, a lot of the technology in that. And, you know, that's just another blog that you definitely want to read because, you know, you're never going to be disappointed by what he produces. And as you mentioned before, um, a co-author of the, the HADRS book and that. And, um, you know, you can't go wrong reading Duncan's uh, content. No, all super sharp, super nice. Also on that tech marketing team has really brought a lot of social DNA to there. And I think everyone has seen how successful Duncan is at communicating ideas uh, communi and, and, and spreading them. And I think that's been a real inspiration to the team. And then, you know, we brought, on, brought in these other he – he's been there for a while. We brought in these other bloggers as well. Uh, it's super opportunity. Yeah, it just shows you how – again, super work ethic, but also shows you how – Writing and, and by continuously communicating, you know, it really helps you. It helps your understanding and it helps you be a better communicator. I think all you guys probably know that as well. The more you write, the more you do, the more the better communicator you become. Yep, totally agree. I can't say enough good things about John. Yep, <laughs> no, he's, he's he's quality guy. I should have practiced my surprise face. <laughs> 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 but he, he's great. He's like, like, like I mentioned with Frank, you know, um, yeah, yeah. The, but both those guys, I mean, it, it's. I end up bundling them, them in together because, I mean, they 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 are very complementary to each other with the content they produce. And uh, once again, it's it's sort of no nonsense content. It's well written. Uh, it goes to a fantastic uh, deep level, uh, which is great. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he has posts up there as well for those people out there who are just starting off in uh, virtualization using vSphere products as well. So, you know, he, he covers quite a wide range there, but definitely he does uh, definitely accommodate that uh, that audience out there that uh, requires a more sort of nitty gritty sort of finer detail of uh, knowing how stuff works under the hood. Yep. So uh, Duncan, yeah, well deserved. Duncan cares very deeply about the blogosphere. He's helped me pull together on the on the V Expert judging panel the last couple of years, and you know we've had a lot of discussions. You know, and you have to have some kind of frank discussions when you're doing that kind of <laughs> judging process. You know, Duncan cares very deeply about the blogosphere. He cares very deeply about quality content. He uh, you know, he puts his money where his mouth is and, and produces his own. So, uh, I, you know, I can't say enough. Again, that passion shows through. Um, mm -hmm. you, you know, and just that, that level of, uh, of caring about stuff, right? Cares about, really cares about. Definitely. Yeah, Duncan's a very thoughtful guy. Uh, when you sit down and talk to him, uh, you quickly find out he's a very thoughtful guy, um, a very nice guy. And, you know, I still reference his, like, his post on ESX Top and, um, his HA stuff and DRS stuff, and I still reference that, uh, you know, every few weeks. It seems like I'm, I'm checking out one of his posts for something. And he's really leading the, uh, you know, leading us all uh, on his posts about, you know, VMware Cloud Director. So I look forward to uh, more blog posts. And, in fact, I just did a Q&A with Duncan. Um, I, it should be going up by the time this VChat is up. I did a Q&A with Duncan about uh, the Cloud Director um, you know, getting started with vCloud Director and, and his thoughts and how the, the cloud is changing, you know, uh, VMware admins and, and the software products we use. And uh, so uh, he responded very quickly and got back to me and, you know, provided a lot of insightful information. So uh, always in innovative and uh, always thoughtful. Yeah, and very down to earth and approachable guy, too. You know, if you see him at a, a trade show yeah. or a conference, don't be afraid to come up to him and talk to him. All the people on this list are. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. I don't. We're, this is not a culture of, of divas. I hope. Uh, no, yeah, everybody's super approachable. 
Well, cool. So that's that's been the top twenty-five. Um, new this year, we also had categories to help distinguish certain bloggers that may get lost, you know, in the whole voting thing and that um, that are kind of focused on certain areas and that. So kind of long. So I'm gonna kind of quickly go over the categories and the winners. Favorite storage blog. Who do you think that is? Ooh, guess it's ooh, so storage blog. Um, I mean, you've got the heavy yeah. hitters in there. You've got you've got Chad. Obviously, you've got Vaughn in there as well. Um, yep. They're the two. They're the two that spring to mind. And that's uh, exactly how the, the voting was. It went uh, Chad with uh, 354 total votes. Vaughn was 158, and then uh, Calvin Zito was 61. Calvin. Yeah, Calvin. Calvin, Calvin was the other one. I was going to say there. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite cloud computing blog, and this one um, kind of you know, sometimes difficult to c- categorize cloud blogs because a lot of people talk about cloud on their blogs and that. So um, trying to get the nominations for this one was a bit difficult. There's probably a few more that could have been on here, but uh, the winner there was uh, uh, Haney Michael with Hypervisor with 206 total votes, followed by Steve Jin Double Cloud on 24, and then the Brian Gracely of the Cloudcast.net with 121. Gotcha. Let's see. So, awesome. uh, yeah, Haney's with VMware. You know, he's known for his diagrams and stuff. Yeah. Um, super, stuff. super insightful about vCloud <laughs> director. Steve's with VCE now. Yes. Yeah. Programmer. He was he's actually a programmer yeah. among our programmers. Yeah. So that which is awesome. He writes great stuff. He wrote the the Java APIs and uh, a Java API for vSphere. Okay. And then uh, yeah, and, and he's doing great work with fun stuff with VCE now. Cool. So, uh, favorite end user computing or VDI blog, and um, this one was really close. And it was uh, Brian Madden edged out uh, Andre Leibovitchi with uh, 262 votes to um, uh, Andre's uh, 235 votes. So they both, you know, in my book, produce great content. That's that. close. Um, but Brian got the slight edge there. Okay. Um, move on to. Uh, Favorite news information website? These are websites that are, you know, not just typical blogs. They kind of produce information and, and news and things like that. Um, the winner on that one was me, vSphereLand.com, with uh, 284 <laughs> total votes. Okay. Awesome. And, um, awesome. Followed by a Tech Target Search Server Virtualization, 148, and Virtualization.info with 128. Awesome. Favorite scripting cool. blog. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of scripters out there, and that and um, that'll be tight. Yeah, that'll be close. And as you might expect, that was kind of reflected in the top 25. Uh, Alan Renoff was the winner there with 247, followed closely by William Lamb with 223, and uh, then Luke Deakins with 154 votes. Uh, what well done, guys? Yes. Cool. I wonder if, if Alan and, and, and William had a bet going on. I, I, don't, I don't know, actually. Uh, somebody yeah. probably owes somebody dinner. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, favorite podcast. And there's a lot of podcasts bringing up now, more and more, and that, which is good to see because you'll get a, you know, kind of a conversational style perspective on things and that. So the winner of favorite podcast was uh, VChat. That'd be us. Hey! hey. Wow! Two votes. That's so, cool. very, very Closely by professional VMware brown bag with Cody Bunch at 177 and VSoup with oh, 108 good, yeah. votes. So good work, Josh. They've okay. been doing some good yeah. work on uh, again on certification stuff. Uh, yeah, and, uh, super good stuff. They just finished up the, the latest series, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, really good stuff. VSoup um, as well was always uh, always a lot of fun to listen to. I always download it when I'm in the car, and uh, yeah. those guys have a very good rapport between themselves. And uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's, it was very that's, that's important to to. because. You know, if if you're not, you can kind of kind of get boring to listen to if you you're not you know exciting and have something you know good theme going. So yeah, it's definitely good to see quality podcasts out there. Yeah, um, and thanks for everyone who voted for us. Much definitely, appreciate. yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're actually Simon has inspired us to crank out more of these this year, so you'll see more and more coming yeah, um, awesome. than we did last year. Cracking a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna do a lot more video. This is a good year for video. I think a lot of people are are. I mean, I, you know. A lot of people consume audio, and you still need it for the car and things like that, or, or public transit. But uh, this is the year of video, so more video, guys. Yeah, definitely good to have that extra layer of uh, being able to see something else. So favorite official VMware blog, and there's a lot of them. I think, John, what is there, what, 100, 200 total VMware blogs? And, um, not quite that many, not yeah, quite I that many. There's maybe 30 or 40 active. Consolidated yeah. them down a bit. Um, the winner there was the uh, Mr. John Toyer with the VMTN, VMTN community blog, 198 oh, okay. votes. 
followed by hey, Vienna, yeah, good job. the uh, VMware vSphere yeah, block with 135 votes. Um, cool. And that vSphere blog, the, the, they, they've come a long way. I think, you know, vSphere blog, to, go ahead, Derek. Oh, yeah, I was talking to Cormac about that at uh, PEX, and he had said it really didn't get a lot of hits or traction in that until they started maybe consolidating content into that, and they've had all these great contributors now, like Cormac and Frank and Duncan all contributing. So now it's a, yeah. a really good resource to, for learning anything about, you know, vSphere. Yeah, we pulled a lot of those resources together into a single blog. It's now our most popular blog. Uh, they're producing a lot of good content. I think they realize that the old days of where you'd write, you know, where you'd make a PDF, uh, you know, a white paper or a slideshow, and that was it, are, are done. So they're, they're like, producing lots of little chunks of content that then go into white papers and presentations and videos. So I'm really pleased with what they're doing. The MTN blog is our oldest blog. I don't actually post much on it anymore, mostly Alex Meyer. But, um, you know, we're trying to keep keep, keep abreast of community, uh, uh, just community activities and things like that. So I'm glad okay. people still read it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, best videos used in a blog, and there's a couple of predominant video bloggers. You know, David, yourself, uh, Eric Sloof, uh, Mike Laverick, and that. that uh, you know, produce a lot of great video content. Um, and the winner in that one was Mr. Eric Sloof with 351 total votes, followed by David Davis with uh, 253 votes. Oh, so, cool! Good job. Thank you. Thank you, well, guys. Kudos to both. Yeah. <laughs> kudos to well, both you, of you guys. When you think of videos, you always think of David, you know. it's uh, He definitely produces a lot of good content, as well does Mr. Sleuth there. Well, if Sleuth gives it away for free, Eric, Eric, Eric <laughs> David sells it. By, by which I don't mean any other, uh, there's no implication there, but uh, David's David's training videos for Train Signal are awesome. Well, he does a lot of free stuff, too, in that, on, on his VMware videos yeah, website, so. Absolutely. Um, favorite new blog? There's a lot of them. You know, expect every year there's new blogs um, coming up, and um, and this this was kind of like blogs within the last year. And that um, the winner there was uh, Barry Combs. I think he started a new blog that was hands-on virtualization with 96 votes, followed by V Tesseract, nice. uh, Josh Atwell with uh, yep. 92 votes. Super well, awesome. super good blogs. Yep, definitely. Good guys. Want to see? Good to see more people continuing to get started with this, and um, you know, getting a lot more variety and more, more content out there. Yeah, highly recommended those 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 blogs. We yeah, I, I got to do something about servicing uh, some of the newer blogs. We'll work on that this no, year. Highlight spotlight. Okay. Yeah. Um, last one is favorite independent blogger, and this is getting a pretty scarce category now with all these people going to VMware and. Uh, I think there's only about three people left, isn't it? Yeah. So this was basically anyone that doesn't work for VMware or a hardware software vendor related to VMware. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's getting more scarce to find those guys. But the winner there is uh, Mr. Eric Sloof with 180 votes, followed by Mike Laverick with 110, and then Vladin with 62. Nice. nice. So well done, guys. Yeah. those guys have, have stayed independent yeah. and resisted the guys, force. Very well, all very well deserving. Yes, definitely. So that's a wrap. It's um, we'll post the full results on my uh, website with all the the full 187 blogs yeah. and um, the full voting results for the categories as well. Probably the next day or two, or um, by the time um, you're, you're seeing this, uh, it's probably already out there. Um, I thank you guys for joining us. Um, another great. You know, voting is always good. I know there's a lot of excitement and buzz around this, um, you know, in the community and that. People like to see kind of um, what their peers think of them, what their readers think of them, and this kind of helps, you know, encapsulate, you know, kind of frame that and, and present that to people so they kind of, um, are, you know, see where they're at and, um, you know, know that people are out there actually reading their blogs and uh, responding to what they're writing. No, that's pretty well, nice. Thanks, uh, Eric. Thanks. Thanks to yourself as well, Eric, for, uh, I think John was going to say there, sorry, still when you thunder, John, job, um, for, for pulling all this together, because like you say, I mean, it is, it is pretty time intensive and uh, obviously it takes quite a, quite a while to do, so uh, full credit to you for continuing to do this, and uh, uh, thanks. Thanks very much. Well, thanks. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, John. Yeah, hey, thanks, thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I had to, I had to do hair and makeup and everything yeah. here. I'm usually audio only day, still these days. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Done an amazing job, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> great. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. And um, that, that's been the award show. So um, thank you. And um, thank you to all the, the people that won. And congratulations. And um, for those that aren't there, you know, just keep trying because, you know, work, dedication, you'll definitely get your way up there. It can happen really quickly. Actually. Yep. 
Okay, great. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you. Thank you for watching this episode of VChat, the latest in virtualization and cloud computing news and how to. Eric, Simon, and David want your feedback, so send questions or ideas for future VChat topics to vchat at trainsignal.com.